Hey, Dave Oslin here. Listen, I put together an uh, entrance gate for uh, to replace some old stuff a couple months ago, put a video on it. I need to do a handrail bracket to match the gate. And I'm gonna walk you through what it's gonna take to do this. So not only did I put some new gates on this entryway, I replaced the old steps. So I used a new Trek style. This actually is Havana Gold, which I really liked. But anyway, I wanna make a railing, a handrail, to match these gates coming up here. So the first thing I'm gonna to need to do is ascertain that degree that's coming up in there and down there so I know what to cut my parts at. So using my little, what my cousin calls my angle getter, some people call it a saw protractor, and a straight edge, I'm going to mount it here, I'm guessing somewhere around 20 degrees or something, and by using this little level here, I'm looking at about exactly 18 and a half degrees. So that's what I know when I cut my parts, I'm going to go for 18 and a half degrees. Even if I'm a degree off, when you make a cut on something that small, whether it's 19 or 22, it's gonna be a, just a 64th of an inch difference. So I'm pretty darn close. I fabricated these little pieces out of one eighth inch material. These are gonna be the little parts that are gonna sit on the bottom of the steps and clamp around, bolt it down to support the vertical pieces. Before I weld these things up and get too far ahead of myself, I'm going to clean these sharp corners and whatnot off. A little homemade jig to keep all my pieces together. So first thing I want to do is put these two corners together like so and weld them, so. Okie dokie. What happened here? 030 flux core. Take a little warm up run. Remember, if it's not flag, you drag. We need to leave on this open corner joint. A little clean up. I want to cap the end of this off. I don't want this open end. I don't have any material right now that I like to weld on here. So I'm going to make a cut and fold this end over that to make a cap. Add a little extra. Cut right up to there, be able to slice this off, bend this end over, weld it up, and create a tight cap on there. Another weapon of choice little angle grinder, four and a half inch ang angle grinder, cutoff wheel.
Creative clamping. Switched over to MIG welding. Look at this bad boy. A couple little teeny ones right there I might plug. Twenty nine seven eight. my rings send it to the powder coater
all the rings tacked in place. Weld it up, ready for the powder coater. It's usually kind of expensive and a little bit of a wait time. Okay, well, 10 days later, it's back from the powder coater. It's time to install it. Sucker strong. Installation only took me about five minutes. More time to get my tools out than the actual time to install it. So now I have gates, which I made in a prior video, and a matching railing. I must say it's quite, quite stout. I mean, I get about a quarter inch of wiggle room on it if I really push on it. So, thanks to powder coat it over there in Capitola. Did a powder coat job. So hopefully it'll last there for years. <laughs> 